We're joined this evening by Dr. Reginald Ball with the University of Toledo. We thank you very much for joining us tonight. Yep. He is an ENT. ENT, of course, ear, nose, and throat. And you have some new advances coming through when it comes to how you treat people with sinus problems. Walk us through what some of those new products are and some of the new uh, places you're going with this. Absolutely. Sinusitis has been a problem for everyone has had experience with it. So we all know what we're talking about. And really the, the changes and advances we're seeing are coming as a result of better understanding of the disease process as well as better understanding of how to treat it. Now, treat it not only medically, but also surgically. In the past, sinus surgery was a fairly uncomfortable and unpleasant experience. Yeah, sure. With a great deal of nasal packing and bleeding and just really uh, unpleasant experience from the patient standpoint. What's happened over time is we've found ways to deliver the care much less intrusively on the patient. So it's much less destructive and much more respectful of the normal tissue um, so that people have a chance of there's less healing, less bleeding, less um, destruction. Which sounds great. And one of the tools you got right here, kind of show us this tool and walk us through what exactly this does and, and how it not only helps people, but makes them feel more comfortable. Absolutely. What is done, uh, surgical treatment of sinus disease at the end of the day is about making the opening from the sinus into the nose larger. And in the past, we used to do that by basically cutting a bigger hole. Um, now, uh, we'll do it um, relatively uh, non-destructively. What we'll do is use a wire, a guide wire like this, using a light to help guide us, and we'll thread, th thread this in to the uh, natural opening of the sinus. Uh, and then with this guiding it, slip this catheter into the sinus and then um, blow it up, essentially. And that way just sort of dilate the uh, opening. So the, so the balloon uh, gradually gets bigger and blows up. So it's not destructive at all. There's nothing cut out. It just dilates the opening. But by doing so, it lets the sinus drain and aerate. Well, when you were talking about earlier with packing and bleeding, it seems to me with that, there's a lot less of both of those because it's less intrusive than other procedures that you might have done. That's exactly right. We put the, with the simple dilation of the opening, there's no incision, there's no breaks, there's virtually no bleeding and no packing. Most people in the traditional surgery would be off a week or more. Um, with this sort of surgery, we're talking about most people are able to return to work within 48, 72 hours. How many people are you seeing with bad issues when it comes to their sinuses? I mean, it, is it a common thing where you're seeing it all the time? Absolutely. Sinus disease is one of the more common reasons that people are, are seen for any problem. And, and, and certainly, the people with chronic problems, Toledo is warm enough to have a lot of problems with people with allergies oh, and yeah. their problems yep. and polyps. And, so yeah, we see a fair number here in Toledo. So this is this is breakthrough technology that our people are using at this point, and I guess comfort and care go a long way because people might stay away from these procedures because of the discomfort. That's exactly right. You know, one study has found that the the number of people that didn't uh, agree to go forward or didn't want to go forward surgery um, was roughly half the people that potentially could have been helped by surgery. All right, so you're helping more than half the people, Dr. Reginald Ball. Thank you very much for your time, University of Toledo. Medical Center, and that is your talk back.